Okay, we have started the vehicle. I could have done this test with shore power too or generator, but we're gonna run this little test with just uh, starting the vehicle. So vehicle started, it's charging the system, you know, 45 amps, it's blinking, that means it's charging. I'm gonna turn the converter back on. It's gonna beep and do its thing. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Just did it at 26 seconds. See how long it cycles. Okay, so that cranked the fan back on. AC hasn't cranked on yet, but the fan's cranked on. off. Oh, it just kicked in. I'm not going to turn it off. Okay, it just kicked on. It took a minute. I caught it. I didn't turn it off before I caught it. So. AC is now operating. It did it start up because the vehicle was running. But what I want to test here, so see it's drawing 60 amps. Because the vehicle is also charging, so the vehicle is also charging and it's not going to be on 60 amps. So, because it's done its initial startup now, with the fridge on and the AC, we're going to turn the vehicle off now that it did its initial startup. Vehicle's off, vehicle's reset. Is still running. So I need to address that with um, Forest River and the warranty department. But the AC will run off the batteries, but it's tripping on its initial uh, startup load. So right now, if you were driving somewhere, you pulled into a parking lot and wanted to get out uh, for a second and maybe go eat some dinner or go in and go grocery shopping you could before you shut the vehicle off and your, your, your batteries are fully charged you can get the AC turned on once you park get the AC turned on have it running you can even have your fridge on AC running fridge on it's already cooling the place down. Um, but what it's saying is it's drawn 113 amps, those two appliances. And that'll last two and a half hours, two hours and 37 minutes. But you don't want to go down past 30% on these things. So um, some say 50, some say 30, some say you can go all the way down. But my rule of thumb is 30%. Um, I don't draw the batteries lower than 30%. So. If you divide that two and a half hours by three, I mean, you can go a good 45 minutes. This will run and keep your vehicle cool while you're doing 
doing the grocery shopping or having a quick lunch or possibly even a dinner if it's not too long a dinner. And then stay on. But for some reason, we got to crank it on with the vehicle running at this point. Um, I'm going to address that. I believe you should be able to start it up just off the 12 volt battery power system, but right now it's not. But there is a workaround. It does work, and that's how you get it.